What's up you SEO legends? Welcome to part three of the complete Surfer SEO tutorial. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Surfer audit tool. So let's get right into it. Again, all other episodes of the tutorial are gonna be linked in the description. So let's get right into Surfer. I'm gonna be using the same example as in the previous videos, which is again, this old test site of mine. And we're just gonna plug in that URL and the keyword that I'm interested in targeting. So keto coconut cream pie. And again, we can select the specific location. We can actually select cities. Um, so we can go pretty in depth before targeting a local SEO keyword. But otherwise, I'm actually just interested in targeting all of the United States. I am interested in seeing the desktop results and these settings. I'm gonna click on sentiment and then I'm gonna run the audit. So this might take a second. So an important question that I get a lot is when would you use this specific tool? So this tool is perfect for any page that isn't performing as well as it should. So obviously there's a lot of factors, but with this tool, you can make sure that the on-page factors are on point. And if they aren't, you can see exactly what's wrong with literally a click of a button, which is phenomenal. So first things first. So now we see that the audit is up here. And just like the content editor, if you guys remember, it's important to select our competitors. So again, Surfer's gonna go in and select within the top 10, the top five competitors with the highest content score. So this is the score right here. And on the right is authority, right? So this is talking about referring domains and the general authority of that website. So again, Surfer's gone in, they've selected the highest content scores, but hey, you know what? Maybe I wanna include this guy and I also wanna include this guy. Now they're also gonna be included in the audit right so once I'm done there and once I've selected all the competitors that I care about I'm gonna say let's go cool so first things first so the first thing that we see is this content score so this content score basically gives us an idea of where we are in comparison to those people that we've just selected that are doing phenomenally well right so we're ranked 62nd right so there's definitely a lot that I can be improving here but it's giving us that bird's eye view of like hey your competitors actually have a way higher content score on average and there's a lot that you can be improving even though it's telling me no action required that i'm in that range there's still definitely a huge difference uh, between my score and theirs so the next section we're talking about the missing common backlinks so this is an interesting section it's telling us hey uh, there's a few competitors that share these same backlinks maybe you could get in on that and maybe you can get some of those backlinks it would definitely help right so i recommend just going in and, and sorting through all of these and seeing if they have opportunities to collaborate or anything along those lines next we're going to select internal links which is actually a really interesting section so here's telling us different internal link opportunities that surfer has found for us and if we actually hover over this exclamation point it's giving us the specific fragment where we could add that internal link, which is actually great. So we don't actually have to read through the whole thing and sort through it. Surfer will give us a great recommendation for this specific article. So once we're done with that, it looks like actually internal linking is pretty well done, but there's three internal linking opportunities that I'm missing out on. So that's an easy fix. Now, this is the main section and this is the main reason that we run these audits, right? We wanna see how we're doing for the most important phrases, the most important words for this specific keyword. So again, this is gonna be the main keyword that I've added, okay? And it's telling me, hey, uh, you've actually added it 13 times and suggested is 10 to 19. And then we have the relevance, also the search volume, and it's telling us, hey, you're all good here, awesome. So we need to scroll down through all of these, see the ones that are important, and see where we're at for all of them. So the ones with a red exclamation point are usually ones where we're suffering the most. So coconut cream pie recipe, apparently I haven't added it at all, and I should be adding it at least four to seven times. So this NLP stands for Natural Language Processing. It's originally something I was creating created by Google to help them understand the context of your content. We definitely need to take note of the ones that have this little NLP sign on them because it's gonna help us add that extra level of context. So yeah, so I highly recommend to go through all of these. Again, the further down we go, the less relevant phrases we're gonna find. For example, affiliate advertising program, probably not necessary to include that, but all the way at the top, we wanna make sure that we're all good for almost all of these, right? So pie recipe, I haven't added it once. Sugar-free coconut cream pie, I haven't added it at all. These are easy fixes. They're gonna drastically improve the context of this article and I'm gonna do a lot better right away. So. If we keep going down, the next section is word count, right? So this gives us that bird's eye view of, hey, how many words are my competitors writing and how many words have I written? So again, there's that suggested range between 
just a little bit over 4,000 and around 2,500 words. We're a little bit under that, so maybe we should add more words in our headings. So how many words do we have in our, in our headings? We might wanna add a few more. Obviously, we have this competitor that's bringing the average up quite a little bit. Words in paragraphs, words in bold. And this is actually a pretty interesting one. So exact keywords that we wanna make sure that we're adding to our title. So that gives Google that really clear signal like, hey, this is exactly what this article is about. So all these different breakdowns, partial keywords as well, those are also definitely important. I should probably include more of those. But again, the important thing is that we're getting that breakdown with one quick click. We have access to all of this data and it's a really easy way to know where you're at with your on-page for this specific article. So in terms of page structure, it says, hey, you have one H1 element, that's perfect. We don't wanna have more than one H1. One H1 is the max and let's see what it's saying in terms of h2 to h6 so i should be probably adding more h2 to h6 elements so more headings again we have this guy that's definitely pushing up that average paragraph elements image elements the breakdown is really really crazy title and meta description length apparently i'm doing quite well Looks like I'm the highest one out of the ones that I've selected. It also gives us some data in terms of the speed of our website. So time to first bite. Uh, looks like we're a little bit over and our load time, again, we're just on the line. So we might wanna work on that. So a final thing that I wanna touch upon is this refresh button. So after seeing all these things that I should improve, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go into my WordPress, make all those changes. Instead of having to go and create another audit, I can just publish those changes on my WordPress. I can hit refresh. Uh, Surfer's gonna go out and find that new version version of my website and then I'm going to have a fresh new audit of the same keyword for that new updated page which is phenomenal just like the content editor you can copy this link you can share it with anybody and they don't need to have access to your account so it's a great feature if you guys are looking for part four of the complete surfer seo tutorial click here otherwise check out this video where I talk about the important seo trends for this year see you guys in the next one